Hello everyone, today I would like to guide you in five steps to succeed and excel in IGCSE biology. This is based on my experience teaching the subject for the past 20 years. We will go from the time you take the lesson until the time you start preparing for your exam. The learning process always starts with the lesson. This could be in your school or in online tuition. You just have to be aware of three things. First of all, the lesson has to be related to your exam board. Although all IGCSE syllabi are quite similar, the exam questions are significantly different. For that reason, you need to find resources related to your exam board. This is quite simple because there are only three exam boards. There's Cambridge, Edexcel, and Oxford. So just make sure you're following the same exam board you're taking. Another issue that the lesson has to be also exam oriented. Ideally, you need to make sure that they're actually solving questions during the lesson because this will prepare you for the next step where you'll need to solve by your own. Lastly, you need to make sure that you're also working on the practicals. About 50% of the exam questions are somehow directly or indirectly related to practice. Schools usually offer students the chance to do hands-on practicals, but this may not be available for students who are doing online tuition. For that reason, you need to either watch videos related to these practicals or if your teacher offers you simulations so you can see how these practicals are conducted. The second part of the learning process is the revision time. It's now your turn to start revising what you've taken with your teacher. I always ask my students to revise within 48 hours from the time they took the lesson. Almost 50% of the information that the student acquires during the lesson is forgotten after two days. This is going to be even worse if you wait for one week because after one week, 90% of the information you've learned will be almost forgotten. What I always recommend is to do an active reading session, which should take you no more than one hour. During this session, try to highlight those keywords you've learned during the lesson. Work on the weak points. And if there's something that is not clear, try to watch a recording of the lesson if it's available. This will help you to understand all of the facts that you've learned during the lesson. What I don't recommend at this stage is to memorize the content. Although biology does require memorization, you just have to wait to the next stage. If you do memorize at the moment, it would be just a waste of time because the concept is still not very clear in your mind. Wait until the time stops solving questions, then you would be memorizing by your own without much effort. Practicing is the third stage. This is the most important part of the learning process. While solving, just make sure you're solving questions that are related to your syllabus. This would be very important for Cambridge students because their syllabus has been updated 2023. So just make sure you're solving questions that are related to your exam board and the latest syllabus. While solving those classified questions, try to open the book. You'll be memorizing the content slowly, but in an effective way. This would be very long lasting information that you will have in your mind. Above all, you'll be mastering exam skills. This will be very important for the time when you start solving full exam papers. The next part of the learning process is the time when you start building connections. IGCC exams tend to ask students to link different parts of the syllabus. So once you're fully done with the content of your IGCC biology syllabus, start solving full exam papers. Do the old ones first and then keep those latest ones for the next stage. While solving, you'll be linking different parts of the syllabus and you'll be deepening your understanding of the subject. It's very important to check your answers once you're done with every exam paper. Highlight the mistakes so that you can avoid them in the next time. Time management is very important for IGCSE biology. Many students are very good at the subjects, but they don't perform as expected in their exam. Just because the IGCSE biology exams are very long. This is why you need to solve around six full mock exams while watching the time. This will help you to pace yourself. Ideally, you need to finish the exam 15 minutes before the allocated time. This gives you enough time at the end to revise the content. If you have any question related to this subject or to IGCSE chemistry, just send me an email and I will try to answer you as soon as possible. 